are high for this administration and many are looking forward to an administration that will indeed match words with action on its campaign promises of renewed hope. I spoke to some dignitaries um, during the inauguration at Eagle Square and this is what they had to say. Ashiwaju has built bridges across this length of bread that sees he has raised men and women of substance across uh, the divide. So to have him as president today is a thing that all of us are happy about. Absolutely. And uh, we look forward to a new Nigeria. Indeed. A new Nigeria. Ashwadu has been talking about a government of national unity. Yeah. That doesn't totally align with your position about probing you know, matters of the past like the CBN governor. For me, a government of national unity will not be an issue that will obstruct the government finding out what happened in time past. Because some people actually plan to make today impossible. Okay, Some people plan for anarchy. But God in his mercy and the prayer of the masses, those who are under the yoke of, uh, of, of, of pains of the economy, they, they, they prayed and we, we are here today. So the government of national unity wouldn't stop Ashiwaju from looking at those who plan to destroy the country, those who wanted anarchy, those who didn't want democracy to strive in Nigeria. I'm highly confident, optimistic, that the next four years, the first time will be very good for Nigeria. We need jobs, he spoke about it. We need security, he spoke about it. We need improvement in access to electricity, he spoke about it. He spoke about economic growth, he spoke about GDP growth at minimum 6%. He spoke about subsidy removal, I think. Let's uh, pray. Uh, we're, we're in for a good Economy time. is king because for Nigerians, they're concerned about how much they exchange for commodities and things like that. What kind of collaboration are you uh, looking forward to b between him and the private sector? I think f first we see President Tinubu as a private sector person. That's where he cut his teeth before politics. And we think he'll be able to, he understands, he assured investors today that time has come for you to repatriate your dividends, your money, what do I make? And that's what investors want to hear. He spoke about multiple taxation that he's going to deal with it. That's what investors want to hear. He spoke about security. If there's insecurity, there can be economic prosperity. And most importantly, he spoke about access to electricity, improvement in electricity generation, distribution, and transmission. That's what we need. So I believe that the good time... <laughs> Finally, we'll let you go, but just one more. Your friend Aliko Dangote just opened the, the largest single train refinery uh, that the world has seen. Uh, talk to us about how this new administration can take it a step further, seeing uh, the support he got from the outgone president. I think what we all in the private sector need is uh, the enabling environment. And the president spoke to it today. Security, infrastructure, access to electricity, dealing with taxation issues, those are things that will galvanize and encourage private sector to do more. So I see Aliko Dango doing more. I see other private sector leaders doing greater things. So time for Nigeria to take off, time for us to create jobs for our young people, time for us to be reunited as one country. Common destiny is here. Thank you. I think that it will be a, a moment of bedding in and settling in while very uh, team building. Uh, starts, I would expect, and uh, I think more importantly, all of us as Nigerians must start to play our own role. Uh, putting Nigeria first, no one man can do it alone if we don't embrace that man and his uh, team. And I, I use this opportunity to just invite Nigerians to please pay attention to Section 24 of the Constitution, where uh, the duty of us as citizens are very well clearly prescribed because we we all know what the duty of government is but sometimes we omit to focus on us it is that uh, hand holding together the government doing its duty and the citizens doing theirs that bats the essence of the new hope your excellency you've done eight years as a minister under the Buhari administration but you were chief of staff to assure you do you think there's still more years to go, particularly in this incoming administration? So I'm going to wish you a very good day. <laughs>